What is up guys, this is Linthio, coming out to the card discussion today about a card that came out in the premium gold type thing in uh, Japan, and uh, that is Ties of the Brethren. Now this is a really interesting card, and at first when I read it, I was like, this card's super insane, but there are a lot of different clauses and setbacks on the cards that kind of reel it in a bit. So it is a normal spell card, and it's effectively just follows, you can pay 2,000 life points to target one level 4 or lower monster you control, special summon from your deck, two monsters, with the same type, attribute, and level as that monster, but with different names from each other and that monster. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, and you cannot conduct your battle phase either. So, this card is pretty interesting. As regards to main decks, meta decks that are going around right now, it's not too amazing in them, but this is a really good support card, I feel, for a lot of older decks that aren't really as powerful anymore. Bujin really get helped with this deck. For example, having their new Pendulum out in the OCG, and obviously this in the OCG, maybe some people might want to consider that more. You have other things like Ojamas, Burning Abyss, all these different cool little decks that obviously Burning Abyss are falling behind the wayside now, but all these decks now that need a little bit of speed, this card could actually fit in. Now, the effect that it says you can't special summon monsters and you can't conduct your battle phase, it's quite heavy cost, and I think just for that it won't really make its way into too many meta decks, unless there are decks that really have the same type, levels, attribute, all this stuff, but have a lot of support back row, like spell cards and trap cards that are really supportive. One interesting thing is I like, I think I might try this out in my Skull Servants if it ever does come out, because with Skull Servants I can get the King, White Mare, White Prince, and Skull Servant, you know, all those main ones, you won't really get White Mare, but you just have those three. Which is pretty interesting because it means you can just get everything out of the deck and deck thing. But Melodious as well, I think that they would really, really benefit from having this card because they kind of suffer from being very, very slow. Because if you're trying to get to the lock, it means that you can get to it a little bit quicker with this card as well, and it also gives you tribute fodder. Overall, the card's fairly interesting. Um, the restrictions of having the same level, but the same type and attribute is fine, because otherwise it'd be a little bit too insane. But I think the over-restrictions on the fact you can't special summon for that turn and you can't have your battle phase is a little bit too much. I think maybe if you take away one of them, preferably keep in that you can't have your battle phase. I think it'll be a little bit better because it's kind of Soul Charge-esque type level, but a little bit not as good. So I want to know what you guys think of the card. Ties of the Brethren, do you think it is a good one? Do you think it's mediocre? Or do you think it's bad? And are there any decks that you think you'd be able to use it in? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.